Go ahead and introduce yourself. Ruben Molina. Marlene, they call me Soledad. Smiley. Junior. Ruben, so you're, you're the brains behind all this. Give me some history of the, of the music of the Southern Soledos and how it was all put together. First of all, I'm not the brains behind it. I think Arlene is the woman that no, kind I of... No, I think Okay, so... I think, you know what? <laughs> so, 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 so it's really like this. We're all kind of in it together. Uh -huh. And everybody has an input. Everyone uh, comes up with uh, kind of ideas on what to do. Uh -huh. And uh, so really, what we're trying to just do is to kind of familiarize people with what we're doing. So we kind of do these things. Sometimes uh, people don't come out. Uh -huh. it's, uh, but as they do, they're like, like right now, yeah. girls come over and say, hey, Sam, how come you didn't tell us who's going to be here? You know, exactly. I was not my friend. Or, so it's okay. It just takes time to grow something. And which, this, what, which I've been doing since 1960. No. <laughs> that's why we call him Boss Man. Boss Man. Oh, so that's why you call him the Boss Man. He's been doing this longer than us. Uh -huh. So I we look up to him. He there you go. Us. Tell me about this hidden treasure music, man. This is amazing. I mean, I am surprised you don't hear this on, uh, you know, uh, Art LeBeau. Well, you different know, it's ridiculous. This is all stuff that hasn't been out in mainstream. Uh -huh. See, that's what we're doing. We're all bigger. We all believe that there's more. There's a vast, a, a whole shitload of music out there. Uh -huh. Okay? So to us, it's like, this is what we love. This isn't a hobby. This is a love. It's, it's exactly. our life. This is what we do. We eat, dream, sleep of what we're going to get next. Yeah. Sure. Most, most, most people listen to music. Uh -huh. and you hear, you know, you hear a roll on, okay, it's a cool jam. People like us, we feel it. Yeah. It's just different. Exactly. It's different. You hear it, things like cool roll on, I'll, I'll hear it and I'll fucking feel it. I get the chills, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like you got people from everywhere starting to, you know, get together. Uh -huh. You know, Rue Molina, he's what? He's uh, Northeast LA. Oh, okay, uh, North San Gabriel East, Valley, San Gabriel Valley, West LA, uh -huh. Orange County, myself. Okay, all right. You know, you just got you got, you got people from everywhere getting together now. Just putting this, you know, putting all this music together. Now they also have this in uh, San, San Jose. Yeah, uh -huh. they, yeah, they do it really big up there too as well. It's, uh -huh. it's a movement right now. They started in, in 2009 with their first one. So we're just we wanted uh -huh. we want to spread this music all around down here. Why can't we have it down here? Exactly. You know? And like you know, he's been collecting since. Ruben, this is a hidden treasure, brother. Yeah. It really is, yeah, man. You know, it is, and it's, but the, you know, the, the thing about it is it's, it's always been part of the cultura, going back, I mean, as far as I can remember, uh, growing up with the, with the, in the barrio with the, with the lowriders, the older guys, this is what they were listening to. Maybe not exactly the, the jams that we're, but the same feel, mm -hmm. same kind of uh, 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 groove to it. We just dig a little deeper. The low and slow, you know. Uh -huh. We just dig a little deeper. And, and we want, we're, we're looking for something new. Even though they're 40 years old, 45 years old, mm -hmm. it's, it's something new. Well, know, it's uh, a new awakening, even though, like you say, it could be 40, 50 years yeah, old. Yeah. But it, it's like a new birth to it, uh, if yeah. you will, huh? We're trying to bring it back. We're uh -huh. trying to bring it alive. We're doing you know, what their record label couldn't do for the artist. Back. There you go, man. Yes. Say it, say it. That's it, say it. Out. And, uh, you know, they didn't get the recognition, like Smokey Robinson uh -huh. and Motown stuff, because Motown was a big label. They had the money to, 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 to bring the artists up, promote the artists. These little bands that we're looking for and we're gathering, they were little labels out of the ride. It's, it's, little it's, and it's a lot of little bands that they only had one song, right. and that one song was only this label, and this label, you know, this record company only had that one song on this, on, 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 you know what I'm saying, on that uh -huh. label, uh -huh. which makes it, you know, they only bring 500 of them. Right. So and they only did 500 of them, and that's it. So, let me ask you, what does it make it in the value, uh, in the market value out there, the 45, if you will? You know what? The common oldies that are out there now, a 45 will cost you five bucks. Probably less. Oh, probably less. Dollar ninety nine. Dollar ninety nine. Okay. But we spend hundreds per 45. Wow. You know, and and, and I don't understand why do we pay so much money, but yet in mainstream they have all of the cheapy 45s. And we're we're you know we're just trying to bring this sound out. It's ridiculous. Exactly. How it is? Wow, we pay hundreds, hundreds. You know, right, thousands, you know, they're even, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, fortunately, fortunately, I started so long ago that they were 35 cents. Uh -huh. so <laughs> Man, uh, but el año del caldo, no? Hey, that was when the snakes used to walk in two feet, right?
You're letting the public know that it, it's out there. There's tons of music out there. Not even all of us have it. Uh -huh. We're still looking. We find new music that comes out every day. The best I can put it day. to you is like fucking swim in the sea. There you go. So is it fair to say, uh, Ruben, we're not going to wait for uh, uh, K Earth 101, uh, we're not going to wait for a uh, Hot 92 Jam? No, they're dead, really, uh, in, in the eyes of the, the Rasa, because they, they gave up on us, or they just pushed us aside to play Beach Boys and the Beatles and stuff like that. Uh, but but it, you know what? It, it's better that we kind of take care of it ourselves and influence. Uh, you've been to the shows, and every time I have a band, I, I ask them to do something that's never been done exactly. live because I want people to do, I want it to be live music also, so like balance, I mean, they're coming out with a CD of just all this kind of obscure mm -hmm. stuff, uh, Joanna Ramirez mm -hmm. singing my life, uh, you know, Pachuco Jose doing things that, that, you know, I give them a record and say, mm -hmm. check this out. So, we're influencing the musicians and, and they see what we're doing and they may just be listening but then when they go home they say, fuck, I want to hear that song, you know, mm -hmm. oh, let's do that, I bet you we could, we could put people on a dance floor or get people to do yeah. something, you know, so, so just like anything, any artist, mm -hmm. you influence a group. Right. And, and and the more you you do, the you more come into the fold, and, and, and you know what? Uh, you create a movement. Perfect example. Of what he was talking about? Yeah, the Royal Chessmen. Um, we're talking to Ray, and uh, him being a Chicano, they came out with a song begging you. Great song. Mm -hmm. Great song. But the fucking 45s on hurdle. And they had the 45s at one point out there. But I was talking to him. And he said they would go to records uh, uh, to uh, to the local DJs, radio stations. They wouldn't listen to a record by the time they look at them, they're Chicano, they just give it a shayala. Not, 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 not only that, but if you had to bribe the DJ, what they call payola, uh, and, um, your money payola. was increasing them for, wow. like I said, you know, you had to bribe them. Yeah. Wow. That's why Motown reigned. Yeah. 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 Motown was big on doing that, but even, but, but even Motown competed against themselves, so every, every other thing that Motown was putting on was a hit. So there were a lot of uh, other Motown artists, too, that were very good. That didn't quite make. Hey, well, thank you for 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 the the education, if you will, because it is, and uh, we're gonna put this out there for people to know this, man. This this is a uh, this is really important. Southern Soledos of, of uh, Southern Califa. Let me ask you this: Do you guys have a uh, website or something that people could get in touch with you guys uh, uh, as yeah, one we're, or? We're on Facebook, and um, it's under the Southern Soleros. They can find us there, uh -huh. and they can also find me on Facebook under Arlene Solera, uh, Ruby Molina. Ruby Molina. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Molina. Uh-huh. 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 I was blown away with the music that you guys were playing right a little while ago before the band started. And I love the band, but I still wanted to hear the the, the hidden treasures that you guys have here. God bless you and keep up keep up the good work.